Hi there guys, it's Chrissy with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best wheelbarrows currently out there today. Now I've kept this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my absolute favourite, top 5 picks, so no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. Alright, as usual, I'm going to skip the small talk and just jump right into my recommendations. If you want to confirm what they are, go down in the description there and check out that list to also guarantee you get the lowest pricing. Alright, so the first one on my list is going to go to my recommendation for the best for most people, and this is the Gorilla Carts Poly Yard Cart. So this, you could say, is like the Bentley of wheelbarrows, if Bentley made something that you fill with mulch and not just middle-aged regret. So if you want a cart that's less children's toy and more, I've got some ser serious stuff to lug around. Then this one is really the Alpha Primate, the King Kong of yard carts. So some of the key features, it's got a weight capacity of a staggering 600 pounds. That's like carrying around three overly ambitious Christmas turkeys and still having room for some tins of paint. It features pneumatic tires that treat uneven ground like it's a smooth jazz record. One-handed operation as well. So we're talking about a cart here, but it sounds like a magic trick. There's also the dump bed feature. It's got the balance of a gymnast. Just lift the handle and boom, no degree in mechanical engineering needed. You wanna take a breather, put a plank over it and have a sit down. It's really like a Swiss army wheelbarrow. Some of the pros in a nutshell, you get four cubic feet of space, enough to throw in half your garden or small children that you don't like. Stability level, think of a Zen monk in deep meditation. It's that stable and also the height. It's like it was made for a human or something. So very considerate of them. The cons, it's not great for mixing concrete. It's a cart, not a KitchenAid, okay? It's a bit wide, so like trying to navigate a Land Rover down a Roman road at times. And some heavier materials make the poly material flex, like it's trying to impress at a bodybuilding contest. So if your yard is like the Amazon rainforest or the set of a disaster movie, then this is definitely for you. If you're living in a shoebox or navigating through your um, geraniums, maybe skip this one and go back to shopping trolleys. The next one on the list is gonna go to my best basic option. And this is the best choice products dual wheelbarrow. So this wheelbarrow looks as insignificant as the salad section at a barbecue. A lightweight plastic bed, tubular steel frame. It's practically the Daniel Radcliffe of wheelbarrows. Petite, but incredibly functional. Some of the key features, don't be deceived. This is the Peter Dinklage of carts. It's smaller, but impressively robust. Comes with large pneumatic tires and its long loop handle is a design touch that screams, I know what I'm doing. Its low profile is for more than just sneaking up on your flower beds. It makes for effortless loading and dumping. Oh, and also it's your personal cement mixer as well. Making a batch of concrete has never been easier. The foam cushion grip is also there and that's like holding hands with a memory foam mattress, if I'm being honest. The pros, in a nutshell, it's seriously light. You can prance around the garden with this like you're in a Shakespearean play. The low design is also not an accident. It's ergonomically sound and fantastically practical. It also may appear weak, but remember, so did Frodo Baggins. It's still pretty sturdy. Cons, speaking of appearance, you might have to defend its honor to naysayers. It looks flimsy but it's got more backbone than it actually shows. Assembly is as perplexing as why British people insist on talking about the weather. No pre-inflated tires and the bolts are straight out of the middle ages, I'm afraid. The steel axle could buckle over time as well if you're thinking of going all industrial revolution with it. Uh, it might not be the best choice. So if you've got light gardening chores or just want to flirt with the idea of being a lumberjack without all the flannel, this is definitely your wheelbarrow. But if you're planning on hauling slabs of granite around as if you're recreating Stonehenge, maybe opt for something more robust. The next one on the list is though my recommendation for the best heavy duty and this is the Makita XUC01X1. So have you ever felt like pushing a traditional wheelbarrow was about as outdated as dial up internet? Makita heard you. So we're talking about a wheelbarrow with an electric motor and LED headlights. It's like turning up to a chess match with a lightsaber. Some of the key features, an electric motor that hauls a full load of mulch faster than a teenager running to the dinner bell. You can walk beside it like you're at a royal parade for compost. On the slopes, this wheelbarrow doesn't just cope, it takes the hill like a knight charging into battle. And the handbrake, 
That's your shield against accidental downhill sprints. When it comes to assembly, the Makita plays no games. 45 minutes and you've constructed the Optimus Prime of yard carts. Be warned though, batteries are more elusive than a British summer and they are sold separately. The pros in a nutshell, those heavy duty tires can tackle any terrain like it's a Sunday stroll. A brushless motor so it's quiet, it's like the librarian of wheelbarrows perhaps. It's like a tank with its durability though, but without the military coup implications, it is built to last. The cons, storage might be an issue. Think of it as the big fun uncle who takes up a lot of room on the sofa. The bin capacity might make you say, is that it? It's a bit like being served a single prawn at a fancy restaurant, so could do better there in my opinion. And short handles, it's really like trying to stir a pot with a teaspoon. My recommendation though, if you're the sort of person who looks at traditional manual labor and thinks, not in my back garden, then this is probably your solution. It's the future, it's happening, and it's electric, just like the dance. But if your shed is already brimming with a lifetime of questionable choices, maybe skip this one due to its storage demands. The next one on the list is my most versatile option, and this is the Works WG050 Aerocart 8-in-1. So this one is really like your Nan's tea. Comforting, yet surprising. Uphill, downhill, sideways, through the remnants of last night's garden party. This Aerocat is gonna deal with it like a bouncer in a nightclub. The volume, it's a bit like Prince. Diminutive, but incredibly versatile. Solid rubber dolly type wheels mean it won't get bogged down in the sand like a tourist on their first trip to Blackpool. And you can assemble it quicker than you can say, Brexit negotiation. But the piece de resistance are the side gigs. You can change its occupation quicker than a millennial with a liberal arts degree. Hand truck, propane cylinder mower, leaf bag holder, potted plant chauffeur, even a boulder mover. This is your domesticated transformer. The pros in a nutshell. It's so compact you could store it in your Harry Potter closet. Stronger than your dad's cologne with a steel frame that won't quit and more attachments than your needy X, although more practical. Cons, those solid wheels could use more emotional depth. They don't absorb impact that well. Volume wise, it's a bit like drinking a light beer, kind of just leaves you wanting more and just lots of bits and bobs. So you'll need an entire drawer just for the accessories. So if you need a wheelbarrow that's also a handyman, a chauffeur, a circus performer, this is probably it. But if you plan on carting through more rugged terrain, you might want something with a bit more emotional support in the wheel department. And the next one on the list is my recommendation for the best for gardening. And this is the Rubbermaid Commercial Products Yard Car. Now, this beast isn't your average garden valet. It's like a caravan on wheels. You could fill it up with enough compost to recreate your own mini Eden project. Picture a Takashi's castle for wheelbarrows. And while it is a bit heavy on the uphill, like me after a Sunday roast, it does hold its own. The Rubbermaid's form is poetry in motion, or at least as poetic as a bin on wheels can be. Perfect for dumping, like that awful relationship you had in uni, though the bin is as deep as an indie film, which makes for a bit of a fuss when loading and unloading blocks. It's best suited for people with a mountain of loose material. You can haul enough sticks to build a bonfire for Guy Fawkes himself. It's also quite the bartender, mixing potting soil or concrete with its smooth top base and sloped ends. The pros in a nutshell, it arrives pre-assembled, so ready for action straight out the box like a James Bond gadget. A marvel of balance, you can push or pull it easier than spreading gossip, rolls over uneven terrain like a British holiday maker rolling into Benidorm, and more volume than a spinal tap amplifier. It goes to 7.5 cubic feet. The cons, size matters. Storing this thing requires more room than a drum kit. Its wheels are like that stern professor, hard and a bit unyielding. And the cart doesn't do small tasks. It's a bit like asking Sir Ian McCallan to play a game of charades. So if you've got ample storage and a lot to haul, then roll out the red carpet, I would say, for the Rubbermaid. But if you're just puttering around a postage stamp garden, maybe look for something a bit less. All right, guys, so hopefully there's something on that list for you. I've tried to include some variety there. Uh, but if you have any questions, you can drop them down below. And if you found value in this video, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.